ITPC here on a Sunday evening for a little Sunday chat with the lovely Messy Mrs. Cobb. And we're going to talk about our exciting weekend. Um, we have had four days of craziness. Four days of craziness. We are down to... After tonight, at midnight tonight, 11 days. 11 days till the move. So that's pretty exciting. Um, we are... We went over to... Um, Kristen's, my ex-wife, my Haley's mother's house for Thanksgiving. On Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. On Friday, we went over to Uncle Butter and had the titty turkey. Which was delicious. If you've never put in boobs in your turkey, you should. That's it gives correct. it like an orange flavor. That's, That's correct. That was weird. Um, Give your turkey boobs. You'll never regret it. That's correct. And then... On Saturday, well, Thursday night, this is the main part of the discussion. We'll just do that quick because really the rest of the week has just been packing and packing and packing and packing and packing and packing. taking furniture apart and packing. A break to see baby butters and dinner with my family and yeah, packing and packing and packing and packing. So, pack a little, vacuum a little, pack a little, vacuum a little. A lot of people have been. Talking about Black Friday and the madness and the mean people and all that. And and that is true. There are some out there that are like that. Sure. Our experience on Black Friday was tremendous. Actually, technically, we went on Thanksgiving. Well, it was a Black Friday experience, It though. was a Black Friday experience, but it was a Black Thursday. We went at 6 p.m. We got there an hour early. We went at 5 p.m. And the sale started at 6 p.m. So we adopt a family every year, as you know, um, from the Salvation Army. Our family this year is a single mother who has been diagnosed with cancer, and she has a two-year-old little girl. Um, if I were to say that it was anything less than heartbreaking to read that profile, I would be lying. Um, each one of us teared up mm -hmm. when we read that. Mm -hmm. We've had a wide variety of families that we've adopted. The program that we adopt off of with the Salvation Army is not like the Angel Tree. The Angel Tree is basically anybody can apply, and if they meet the financial requirement, then they can get on there. The program that we adopt from is a special program that it's for hardships. Um, we've had families where their house burnt and they were rebuilding. We've had families where they had an eight month old and the eight month old, eight month old had a feeding pour and was doing treatments in Hershey. So they had to drive three times a week, 45 minutes to Hershey Medical Center. Um, and let me tell you. That was heartbreaking. To we see. met that family because yes. that family wanted to meet us. And when I held that baby in my arms, there was nothing that was more giving than to know that we supplied that family with a Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, that was such a humbling experience. Christmas for us is about, and what we try to instill with the girls is family time slash experiences and giving back. That's what we focus on. We don't focus on giving amongst each other. Um, we don't do Christmas presents amongst nope. each other. Um, that's, nope. we focus on family time and family experiences, whether it be horse-drawn carriage rides, hot cocoa, um, going to see the Christmas lights in Hershey, whatever the experience might be, we focus on family time and giving back. Um, so it was really neat because we've been doing it now for about five years, I would say. Five, yeah. or, five or six years. Yeah. Um, so it was kind of cool because on Thanksgiving, Emma made her announcement for what she wants her contribution for Christmas to be. And what she wants to do on Christmas Day. Um, 
and Emma would like to make bagged lunches with an apple, an orange, a candy cane, and a sandwich and go drive around Harrisburg and give them out to homeless people. <laughs> That's what she would like to spend her Christmas day doing. Yep. Um, and Emma is 10, 10 years 11. old. She'll be 11 in December. She'll be yeah, 11 on December 14th. So, so that's what she wants to do for Christmas. That's her. That's how she, what she would like her Christmas day to look like. Not a week before Christmas, or that's what she wants Christmas day to be. To be, because everybody deserves something on Christmas. So that's one of those you fist bump and you have Sean and myself <laughs> and Kristen and her boyfriend Ray in the kitchen doing a cheers and a shot together, saying. Cheers, we're doing good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're doing good. We're doing right. <laughs> so, that was... And we got to Black Friday shopping. I know Sean said that a lot of people have had videos up or comments up saying about how people are nasty and people can get very vulgar and rude. We had... Sean doesn't usually come out with me. <laughs> Sean does not usually come out with me because Sean has to be in a Surprisingly wheelchair. Surprisingly enough, I don't do well in crowds yes, of people. He doesn't, he doesn't do well in crowds I'm not of nice. people. And <laughs> people tend to Say not... Say I'm not nice. No, people <laughs> tend not to see him when he's in his wheelchair. People are looking up here at what they're doing and he's down here so they don't see him. So they trip into him, they walk into him, they... Yeah. It's a mess. So typically he does not come with us. However, we were at the girl's mom's house and we left there about 4.30ish, 4.40. And I was like, you know, the sale starts at six o'clock. Do you want me to drop you off at home? Do you want to come with me? Do you want to see if my brother wants to go? Cause usually my brother and I will go out. Um, so we, uh, he decided he wanted to go. So we got him in his wheelchair and we went. Walked around the store. The only thing I wanted to get was a baby alive and a little kitchen set. A big plastic kitchen set for the little girl that we adopted. Correct. Um, we've already gotten Chip's El Chippo's Christmas presents. Um, so I just needed those two items, which happened to be right next to each other. So it was yeah. the baby alive, and then there was some weird troll-looking doll, which I've never seen before. Right. It had crazy hair. And then there was the kitchen things. The kitchen things, the Walmart that we went to only received, like, six of them, which the Gettysburg Walmart today had a whole display. They had, like, huh. 20 of them. I'm going huh. there next year. They had, like, 20 of them. So... I parked Sean in front of the kitchen things thinking, all right, I'll get the baby doll, I'll get the kitchen thing, and then I'll meet him over there. Apparently that baby doll was like the number one item this year at Walmart because we got there and there was already like five, ten people in line. And then by the time they were counting down ten, nine, eight, there were like 50 people around a pallet of baby dolls. So I'm like, yeesh, okay. The girl behind me didn't think that she was going to get one because the lady, there was like a lady in between us, but not right in between us. She had a shopping cart. So I was like, well, which one do you want? So I helped her. I got mine for the adopted, our adopted family. And then I helped her and got one for her because she couldn't get anywhere near the palette. And then a gentleman, Sean was talking to... A gentleman the whole time in line and you know he, they were just we were talking, talking we were talking bearded assassins <laughs> I was trying to sell well they were talking and you know <laughs> just in conversation he was saying how it, the item was for an adopted family so he was like he yelled over to me and said well which one do you want and he ended up getting the Pink the, 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 the kitchen set for us yeah um, he said instead of you doing the baby doll and then the kitchen he's like I'll get the kitchen set for you so he got the kitchen set for us and then we kind of just wandered around we stood in line for two hours for movies which Haley watched about half of them over the weekend yep. <laughs> in between yep. packing it was like movie pack vacuum, yeah movie pack vacuum 
was our weekend. Yeah. Um, so and we then stood in line. line. So we stood in line for like two hours, and then we were just strolling around, just seeing what they had. We weren't in any kind of rush. We didn't have like a master plan of anything. Mm-hmm. I don't store hop when I go. If I want something, I'll go to Walmart. If I don't want it, then I'm not going anywhere else. Right. So get in line for the register and there was a mother there with her mother-in-law and probably like a 10-year-old son and like a three-year-old daughter and they had two carts full like these were professional black friday shoppers (laughs) (laughs) these are like they had their little bag with their flyers and they were professionals i didn't even have a flyer i had to get a flyer at the store i didn't have one so, True story. <laughs> I'm not a professional Black Friday shopper. No. So we're talking with them. I mean, you're in line with these people for 45 minutes. So you're chit chatting, you're playing with the kids, and you know, you're going through that. Well, she really wanted candy. She wanted the candy. Mom was trying to watch and make sure everything was getting <laughs> rung up and keeping everything together and keeping the toys hid from the kids <laughs> and all that stuff. Yeah. And. So when they were all done, then she realized that her daughter didn't get her candy. And, and she and says... she was upset crying, so the grandma took the kids out. And the mom came back and was like, did you start ringing up yet? Because I just, I want to get her candy. What candy did she have in her hand? So I was like, well, I think she had that one in her hand. And I just told the cashier just to ring it in on mine and give it to her so she could go attend to the crying three-year-old. Yeah, when she went to get her money out, I put my hand on her hands. And we just said, Merry Christmas. Yep. Merry Christmas. And she got upset and gave us hugs and said that she was a mom of three and nothing comes free. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) So, not every experience is bad. We were able to tell. She was like on the verge of crying. Yeah. Which shows me, the first thing that it showed me was... Wow, this woman has obviously not experienced many random acts of kindness because Mm -hmm. if just buying candy for their daughter Mm -hmm. had her that emotional, Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, that really goes to show you, you know, how far um, a random act of kindness will take you. And uh, it felt good. It really did. It really felt good. So we just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, We had a great time, had a great holiday. We ate lots of turkey. Make sure your turkey has boobies next year. It is the way to go. Um, They're delicious. (laughs) So other than that, that was our uh, weekend. We're down to 11 days. The house is empty and in shambles and (laughs) <laughs> yep, and the new house is getting done slowly but yeah. surely. We so, had carpet laid down yesterday. So. Yep. We're ready to yep. rock and roll. So that's our check-in for the weekend. That's our little Sunday chat. I want to thank you guys for uh, popping in on us. Thank you so much. And um, until we can get together, and pack a pipe, or smoke a good cigar, let all that you do be done out of love. Ready? Mm-hmm. Ugh. Y'all take care and God bless. Wait, quit. Bye. Oh. <laughs>